<laughs> over here either. Maybe, maybe he's, oh, no, he's not there either. Oh my gosh. No, no, that's not him either. No, that's definitely, no, no, no. Oh I'm having a big problem here, guys. I'm trying to see Jesus. I'm wondering, you know, I thought maybe my binoculars would help me out being able to see him. What do y'all think? You know, I keep looking, but are my binoculars supposed to make things that are far away seem closer, right? So, you know, Jesus is up in heaven and he's really far away and I'd have a really hard time seeing him, wouldn't I? So maybe if I use these binoculars, I can zoom in. Nope, that's not him. Let's be honest, guys. Am I ever going to see Jesus through these binoculars? No. What? No. Still can't hear you. Y'all asleep this morning? No. 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 I'm never going to see Jesus through these binoculars, no matter how hard I look. Do you know how the Bible tells us that we can see Jesus? Or that we can help other people see Jesus? The Bible tells us that if someone needs help, and we help them, or if somebody is sick, and we help take care of them, or if someone needs clothes or food, and we provide them with clothes or food, that we're helping people see Jesus. As a matter of fact, the Bible says that when we help others with their needs, that's one of the greatest ways that the world sees Jesus. And that's what our memory verse was all about today. Matthew 25, 40. It's such an incredible reminder. I want to read that verse to you again. It says, And the king will say, I tell you the truth, when you did it to one of the least of these, my brothers and sisters, you were doing it to me. Think about that for a moment. Jesus is looking at us and he's saying, when we take care of one, anybody, it's like we're treating and taking care of Jesus. And one of the greatest ways we help people see Jesus is by how we treat other people. This verse, it reminds us that, that we should love everyone and always be ready to help others in need. This is exactly how the world sees Jesus. This is, this is how we help people see Jesus. This is how we're able to see Jesus. is by helping other people. By being a reflection, it's almost like we look in a mirror and we see ourselves, but when we go out and help other people, we help people see Jesus when they look at us. Now, showing Jesus to others by how we treat them is not always, it's not always easy to treat people nice, is it? What? I can't hear you. Is it always easy to treat people nice? No! No? What do y'all think over no. here? Y'all are all quiet. No. So you're nice to everybody all the time, right? No. Especially nice to your brothers and sisters when they drive you crazy? Or when they need help with homework? Or we're nice to, we're nice to the people at school that call us names and bully us? No. It's not always easy to be nice to other people. No. As a matter of fact, you might even be sitting there this morning and you might say that, Pastor Scott... I'm just going to be honest. It is impossible to treat everybody nice all the time. It is what it is. What do y'all think? I'm mean to you sometimes, Pastor Scott, so I know it's not. You're mean to me all the time. Come on, think about it. People with short tempers. People who are always getting angry. People who behave badly. Those who are embarrassing to be around. Do you have any friends like that that just are embarrassing to be around? People who don't, people who don't share. Do you like being around people that it's always me first? Yeah. People who always want to be the be, be at the front of the line. People who are poor losers. Do you like being around people who are poor losers? You know, there's just a whole lot of people in this world that it's hard to like all the time, okay? Let's just be honest. There are just some people that it's tough to love, and no one likes being helpful all the time. You know, there's some days... Where I get out of bed in the morning and I am tired and I am and I am I've had a bad day, I haven't slept well the day before, and I just want Scott time. I don't want somebody to call me and say, I need you to come help me mow the grass, or I need you to come change a tire for me. I need you to come help serve these hungry people over here. I just want to serve myself, okay? I want to sit in the recliner, watch some TV, 
eat a lot of chocolate, and do nothing all day. There are just days we don't feel like being helpful. But you know, Jesus doesn't give us a free pass. Jesus doesn't look at us and say, you know what? It's okay. You had a bad day yesterday, so you get the day off. You don't have to love people today. No, that's not how we have to love people. Oh, right. Period. Jesus doesn't say, only help the people we like. He doesn't say, only care about the people who are nice to us. He doesn't say, only be kind and loving to the people who are pleasant and nice. Jesus says that we need to love everyone and help everyone see them through our actions. That we need to be Him in this world. So much so that in our memory verse today, it says, Jesus says that whenever we do it, whenever we do something nice for somebody else, it's like doing something nice for Him. So even if you don't feel like it, even if you're tired, even if you're having a bad day, we still have to love other people and help other people in need. And helping others see Jesus through how we act is one of the most important things that we do as followers of Jesus. Think about that for a second, boys and girls. Helping other people see Jesus by the way that you act is one of the most important things you do as a Christian. By how you behave. How you treat your parents. How you treat your friends. And remember that these binoculars are never going to help anybody see Jesus. We help people see Jesus. By what we do and what we say and how we live our life every day. Let's pray, guys. Father, I thank you so much. God, worship has been a blast today. I've had so much fun worshiping with all my friends here, getting to spend time with you, getting to hear your word, getting to sing praises to you, play some silly games. God, we just had a ton of fun today. And I love having fun. But you know what I love even more, God? I love you. And I want to... I want to show you to the world through my actions every day. God, remind me all the time that people see you through how I behave and how I act. I love you, God. Amen. Okay, guys, we're going to sing one last song. Believe it or not, kids' worship will be over.